again. Uh, with this part of my um, uh, YouTube, I'm going to share with you each of the dimensions and give you a little bit of background relative to the dimensions that I've created in my theoretical model of transcultural caring dynamics in nursing and healthcare. So the first dimension is the essence of caring. And so I'd just like to share a little bit with you about uh, how this uh, particular perspective became very uh, dominant in nursing and certainly at Florida Atlantic University. It is the foundation of our curriculum. It's the foundation of uh, the research that we do and uh, we are very well known uh, not only in the United States but around the world relative to the fact that we are focused on uh, developing human caring and sustaining that within the context of many different dimensions in higher education. So uh, the essence of caring I'd like to talk to you about. I am one of the uh, charter members of the development of uh, caring as the essence of nursing in uh, our country. I was a member of a small group in 1978 which was hosted by Dr. Madeline Leiniger, who claimed at the American Nurses Association meeting that caring is the essence of nursing. And uh, from that time then, she developed the first caring conference. And there were a small group of us, about 10. Uh, the other person who was very significant and whom many of you might know and studied her theory, the current Dr. Jean Watson, who is a very uh, famous woman, who has written the uh, and uh, speaks about caring as transpersonal caring and has a theory that she has advanced in different universities and around the world. And at the same time, we had Dr. Joanne Glittenberg, uh, Dr. Joycene Boyle, and the late Dr. M. Bevis, who uh, is famous for her concepts related to caring curriculum development. She also uh, was in the room and uh, she had a philosophy of caring as well as myself. The two of us uh, communicated um, about the philosophy of caring. So my philosophy of caring, uh, through a, a metaphysical and philosophical analysis, identified caring as uh, the notion of love and co-presence as the essential nature of nursing. And you might believe that, uh, and per perhaps still, that love is still a difficult world, word sometimes to share uh, from the standpoint of science, human science even, and, um, and for people to communicate about it. But it is uh, the focus of uh, the work that I have done because I had uh, been privileged to study uh, the nature of caring philosophically, which uh, in philosophical analysis, you make a claim. You, for example, uh, caring is the essence of nursing, and then you would study that piece and then do a counterclaim where perhaps it is not the essence of nursing, and then from a interpretive notion, uh, synthesize information into uh, the the foundation of of its meaning. So my own work came out as love and, and co-presence, as I uh, mentioned to you. So this first dimension in my transcultural caring model talks about the idea of love, caring as empathy, authenticity, or being uh, uh, true to the word and true to the relationship, uh, the notion of compassion, how do we actually become the other as such, that we are able to appreciate the other's suffering. The concept again is co-presence, that we are in a co-present relationship. It isn't one or the other. We are together relationally. And also we are available to our patient and uh, we attend to their needs. And also that we communicate uh, consistently and this makes uh, a lot of, it is extremely important from the standpoint if we are sharing with people of different cultures or we are, we have different languages and so what is the meaning of communication? And also it's symbolic, it doesn't necessarily have to be the spoken word, it could be the idea of touch and, uh, and of course we have, uh, 
when we share with other people or people of other cultures, we also have to make sure that touch is permissible within the context of uh, another culture. So uh, we look, I look at, uh, in this first dimension, this action of compassion and love as a mediating force to guide our moral caring behavior and facilitate the, the means by which we would be um, acting rightly or, or seeking the good of the other within the dynamical relationship of culture itself. So for example, people of different cultures, they may express caring differently. And uh, interestingly, you know, uh, people might even uh, raise their voices to one another in different cultures, but it doesn't mean to say that they're not caring. And, uh, and then from a, often from a student standpoint, they might say, well, uh, our teacher isn't caring because uh, she isn't, uh, or he or she isn't giving us an A, for example, but that doesn't mean to say we're not caring. We're looking at what is the moral action within uh, this uh, notion of caring so that, uh, you know, the right actions can be performed and also we will do the right thing for each other. And so that is uh, the first dimension. And uh, interestingly, when I was in uh, Saudi Arabia, um, I didn't have caring as the first dimension in the model. I actually moved um, the religion to the first dimension in the model because, as many of you know, within the Muslim culture, the notion of inshallah, in God's will, is the center of uh, their uh, particular uh, uh, relationship with uh, God, with each other, or in uh, Muslim religion, it would be called, God is called Allah. So, um, however, I w uh, when I'm working with different cultures, I'm looking at ways uh, to honor each culture group and each religious group. And so, as I mentioned in, um, uh, when I was in uh, the Middle East, then I was able to uh, move the uh, spiritual or the universal dimension of my model to the number one dimension. And then I, I then spoke about caring and looked at caring within uh, that particular culture. But I've been in many countries of the world, so I look at the way that people express caring. And uh, of course, each culture, again, looking archeologically at the notion of caring is that it is uh, love and even interestingly in archaeology itself uh, that they're looking at this idea of love retrospectively within the context of fossil remains or the way in which um, uh, 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 graphics of how in cave dwellings how people relate to each other in, uh, through presentation of uh, not necessarily obviously not in archaeology uh, no communication, but communicating in other ways. So uh, it's not only nursing that is focused on caring and love, but it's certainly looking at, at uh, for example, in archaeology, which is, you know, looking at the foundations of, um, of what it means to be human uh, in this uh, universe. So, um, so caring is a very important element, and it's certainly important in my theory so that we as nurses, when we care for each other, we understand uh, the complexity of the meaning. One other thing I'd like to share with you is uh, when I did my study on uh, the meaning of caring in a, the institutional culture, I had practically 1,000 meanings, or not meanings itself, but 1,000 expressions of caring. Uh, and so, as you can see, it is very complex, and you probably yourselves can identify uh, the meaning of caring within your own um, uh, hearts and souls and uh, your own families and what it means to you uh, to sustain human life and, and uh, human relationships uh, within your own cultures.